Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bigg, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. We would like to welcome you today to the joy of music. The title of today's program is Mozart Around the World. The Bible tells us that God gives gifts unto men. The gift of creation, the gift of music, of composition, and performance. To the composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, God gave the great gift of composition. Mozart was known as the human incarnation of a divine force of creation. The music was already composed in Mozart's head before it was even put down on paper, and today we're going to be hearing some of this great music. We begin by hearing his fantasy in F minor for the organ. This was once written for a tiny mechanical clock but it is now played on the great pipe organ using all the resources of this great instrument.
Although Mozart had much difficulty and sorrow in his life, his melodies are very happy and full of joy. We now go to Switzerland on the shores of Lake Lucerne and hear one of his melodies for flute and harpsichord. This is a movement from the Sonata in A major. We now listen to Mozart as played in the beautiful little church of St. Martin's in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, Germany. Garmisch is not far from Salzburg where Mozart was born. And here the music comes alive. We hear Anne Martindale Williams as she plays two movements of the Sonatina in C major of Mozart.
Mozart wrote much of his music for the church, and we now go to a very famous church in Bavaria, the Etal Monastery. This monastery is 600 years old and houses an organ almost 300 years old. We recorded the music of Mozart in the middle of winter in freezing temperatures, even inside the cathedral. We listen now to his famous Ave Verum, and then Shirley Close sings the Adoramus Te. Everything in the Atal Basilica, the organ, statues, and all gold ornamentation, lifts us to the message of the great painted dome, one of the largest in Germany. Nothing was to be concealed in the dome. Rather, worshippers were given an uninterrupted view of the triumph of the saints in heaven. Sursum Corda, Lift Up Your Hearts, is the theme of this great church. The Gloria Dei, the eternal glory of God, the Blessed Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the center of the heavenly joy and splendor, the object of our songs of praise. The organ loft rises above the church with grace and elegance. How vivid is the outline! How rich and musical the Rococo decorations and the carved lattice! This masterpiece stands magnificently, reaching up to the light of the west window with its crowning cartouches. Its music is a song of praise to God.
And now from the Etal Monastery, Shirley Close, mezzo-soprano, sings the message of this great church. Adoramus te. We adore thee, we worship thee, we praise thy holy name.
We go now to another famous monastery in Bavaria as we listen to the Church Sonata in C Major by Mozart. I will be joining the Munich Philharmonic String Quartet in performing this piece on an organ over 300 years old. As we listen to the music, we are going to be seeing some of the beautiful sights in this part of the country that Mozart himself may have seen. You are listening on the program today to music from one of the oldest monasteries in Germany built in 739. But this beautiful area of the country is not only known for its monasteries and churches, but also for its very colorful painted buildings and houses, showing the people working and worshiping. It is known for the Alps, which rise all around us, for the colorful outfits that many of the people wear here, the Trochten and the Dirndls. And of course, it is a winter wonderland where people come from all over the world to ski and to enjoy the snow. But by the magic of television, we can change just like that to the summer and the beautiful green pastures and flowers and gardens. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music 
as we have featured Mozart around the world. Mozart was known as the human incarnation of a divine force of creation. The Bible tells us that God gives us gifts and that we are not only to give our gifts and talents back to him, but also to commit our lives that we might know life and life abundant through him. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.